Hello, Meoni of Viclismcast here today with a Star Citizen video for you. Today we're looking at patch 12.5 and the Origin M50 Racer and all the other lovely good things that are contained within this patch that aren't mentioned there. So let's get aboard the buggy and look at the first thing on the list, and by no means is this the last, probably the sole reason you tuned into this video, the Origin M50 Racer, or M50 Interceptor as it's listed on the ship's specs page, presumably because there'll be future variants. In terms of firepower, this standard bird has none. But where she lacks in aggression and size, she makes up for in speed. Oh, and then some. This, then, is Cloud Imperium's first draft of a whole new league of ships we'll see in the future. Organized around the idea of the Murray Space Cup, a racing event in space similar to the Goodwood Festival or other race where people, i.e. players, all come uh, from around the verse to complete annually in the universe to race their fast ships for money and, of course, glory, because there's always glory in winning. The size, again, is something to bring up. Uh, it was actually mentioned in the past that the option to swap the Constellation's Merlin Shuttle, if you don't know about the Constellation, it is a large frigate which has a ship bay for a small ship. Uh, it actually has, it comes with the Merlin Shuttle, which is like a snub fighter. But you can actually swap that, it was said, uh, for an M50, uh, this particular ship we're looking at now. Uh, it would be possible in the game as its relative dimensions are kind of roughly the same, only the M50 comes with actual four cargo units. Uh, whereas, if I remember correctly, the Merlin does not, at, at, you know, at least now on the ship's uh, specifics page, it doesn't list it having any cargo space. So, I've picked one up to show you guys, and fundamentally I'm tempted to keep this one for the actual game. Normally, you see, I melt down a ship that's worth a lot more than I buy another with the credits to make a video. But this is probably something I can actually get behind, especially, you know, with my main ship being the Constellation, the Evermore, in which I'd much rather have this in my launch bay for quick getaways and in orbit surface, you know, shopping missions. Uh, I can dream. Statistics wide, they put a whole list of temporary stats on the page, which, of course, you can click this annotation here, where it will take you to the official page of stats and purchase link for the actual ship. I'll let you check that out yourself, because obviously if I read off all of the bits and bobs, um, like a couple of weeks later, we're probably going to have different stats on there. And uh, don't quote me on anything statistic wise, but there are some very interesting things to read on there as well, especially about the engines and the manufacturer behind the ship. So, what other things are in the 12.5 patch? So, 12.5 uh, includes the subscriber flare for July. If you are a subscriber for Cloud Imperium Games and Star Citizen, uh, of which you pay monthly to the page to support the game, of which I was, mine's just ran out actually, um, but if you were in July, you, uh, you will have got the... Um, oh, you can actually buy this in the store as well. Um, so, yeah. But if you did buy that... Uh, and you were a subscriber in July, you will now be able to mess around with the in hangar jukebox. So this is a flare item, like I say, they usually give a flare item every month to you know entice people to actually be a subscriber. And the jukebox will play MP3s, WAVs, and pretty much any other standard files that you would usually put on your iPod or whatever, allowing for testing uh, quite a few mechanics in engine. Primarily, this is a gimmick, and, you know, is a bit of an extra, but does show an insight into how sound may travel in the game and how frequencies are passed through objects, etc. Something to me which is definitely worth a look at and ultimately worth just listening to your favourite tracks, of which I'd probably put on for you if this wasn't a YouTube video whereupon people shoot you for using anything you don't own. So, there were a few other surprises this time for me personally in 12.5, including uh, my actual invite into the Star Citizen uh, Arena Commander multiplayer. So let's take a look at that. So the modes available in multiplayer are Team Battle, which is effectively Team Deathmatch, and Bo Battle Royale, which is basically all versus all. The graphical quality of some of these scenes is absolutely mind-blowing, and a lot of work has gone into 12.5 to make not only the graphical fidelity much higher than in previous versions, the lag lower, and the amount of lasers increased, but also to add much needed sound refinements. The, the game sounds absolutely gorgeous now, looks amazing, and all that's needed is a button to explore the galaxy instead of endless arena modes. I'm an eager beaver and very impatient, far too eager for my own good really, and I want to fly my constellation. 
but for now I will enjoy the hell out of this fantastically destructive and time-consuming experience that it is proving to be. So my star citizen number was 213497, that's 213,497 out of how are what we now? Actually, I don't know how many citizens. I'd have to tab out to look at that. I'm not going to do that now. But out of a lot. Um, so that's pretty low, actually, the 213th, 497th person uh, to back the game. So, uh, yeah. So sadly, I did actually miss the last uh, set of invites that sent out. They brought out the first 200,000. So obviously I was 13,000 behind that. Doesn't seem that far away, really, in the grand scheme of things. But uh, I have actually now got in because they've sent out invites to the first uh, 300,000 people. Uh, so obviously that includes me and people all the way up to uh, 299,999 um, and probably the 300,000th person. If you are the 300,000th person, uh, leave a comment below because you're awesome. Um, <laughs> so there's 300,000 people in the alpha testing the multiplayer. That's not to say that you'll have people... Uh, that many people clogging up the servers. It means that you will actually get quite a lot more people now because it brought more invites out actually involving in it. I know a lot of people who do the multiplayer testing that were in the 200 bracket and before that, that we're starting to see that a lot of people weren't actually playing the, the, well, the, the game because they tested all they could. But now there's some fresh faces, so if you're a hardened veteran, go in there and kill some noobs. And if you're a noob like myself, go in there and get absolutely shot to pieces and love every damn minute of it. So make sure you check your emails, guys. You could be in if you are part of this glorious community that is Star Citizen. So that's pretty much all there is for this video. I understand many of my Star Citizen videos and a lot of my content really were made on Ace Games TV. Uh, so if you'd like to see them, you can go back there. But if you would like to see more here, Perhaps what some of you may have already seen, maybe. I have the power to make more videos on other areas and possibly ships I've already looked at on the other channel, but here of the game. So let me know what you want to see from Star Citizen, what you want to see. Do you want me to look at each individual ship uh, again or like the ones I've looked at? Do you want me to do some more multiplayer stuff? Because I can do that. Oh, God, I could just turn on fraps and it would be amazing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see, and I will do my very best to fulfill that role to you guys. So, as always, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.